One in five women in the military will become victims of sexual violence, and this makes them nine times more likely to develop PTSD. Deborah puts a face to these startling statistics. When we met her earlier this season, she was struggling with crippling PTSD, homelessness, and physical pain, yet she didn't let this dampen her spirit. This is a reminder of her story. I was 19 years old when I joined the Army. After about seven months, eight months being there, it got bad. I got sexually assaulted. They said I lied. I just, I never was the same after that. I was diagnosed with PTSD. I've been out for a little bit over 10 years now. I'm a single mom of two kids. I live in a transition shelter for US vet. And I'm actively trying to find a, another job. I don't even know when the injury happened, but now I'm with my lower back and my hip is still hurting me. I'm in constant pain every single day. In this situation, you can easily be depressed because you would think you sacrificed so much. I still ended up in a place I shouldn't be. You know you're trying to find a new job. Yes. We have actually secured an interview for you at the Human Resources Department at a major bank, which actually has a dedicated veteran recruiting program. Also, Deborah, a really cool new sock company is called Lift 23. They want to give your family $5,000 to help with your expenses. I want to bring into the conversation orthopedic surgeon Dr. Brad Thomas, who's joining us via Skype. What might be done that could improve her situation when it comes to her physical pain? I want to offer you several things. One of those things would be physical therapy. Another would be chiropractic and massage treatments. And last, uh, acupuncture could be great for making you feel a lot better and get you up and moving and active again. Thank you. How are you dealing with this post-traumatic stress well, other than just putting on a brave yeah. face. Well, you know, you take moments in the bathroom and cry a little bit. Dr. Eugene Lipov joins us. You've been having some amazing results with post-traumatic stress, and I know that you have something you'd like to share. My organization, Global Post-Traumatic Stress Foundation, would like to pay for your treatment as well as fly to Chicago. I'm dying now. Where are we already? Hold up. How are you feeling there? I feel better. I don't feel that fear. That's what I'm talking about. It's easier to think straight. Yeah, that heightened state, I don't feel it anymore. The block is gone. That's so cool. It's nice to, like, Get out of combat zone, finally. <laughs> Deborah and Dr. Eugene Lipoff both join us. And Deborah, I loved meeting you a few months ago, and you were going through so much. What has changed since I saw you last? Everything has changed. Everything. 100%. I didn't even realize I was in this heightened state, and I'm like, literally, I get on a plane, I count how many chairs there are and all that. I mean, I'm literally like constantly on alert. But after the shot, I just was like, it went away. Like, I still remember everything, but it doesn't affect me emotionally anymore. I'm able to laugh and play and have a good time with my kids. Yeah. There was the emotional pain, there was the physical pain. Yeah. How's the physical pain? Oh, it is phenomenal. I mean, really, like, like I mean, I no, I no longer have to take medication every day just to get through the day. And so that is just, like, great. Um, I'm not exhausted like I used to be. Like, I actually have more energy, which is great. So it's been phenomenal. Like, really. Like, I, I, it's man. hard to believe. Your resilient spirit was on display yeah. when you were on this stage a number of months ago. But I, I talked about you putting that brave face yeah. on. And underneath it all, I could see there was so much pain. And it's just remarkable and a testament to you and your perseverance that you're at this point in employment-wise. Mm -hmm. I got a job offer, and then I have I have another two job offers that are currently pending. I'm one of three people right now, so. Good for you. I'm good. And, and your living situation? Uh, my living situation is great. I found a place to stay, um, so we move in uh, everything next month, so everything's good. I, got I, I think the important yeah. takeaway, yeah. Dr. Lepov, I, I want to ask you what was unique about Deborah, but it's also this domino effect of you change one thing and now everything else seems to be coming together in your life, which is great to see.